of New Orleans. And as we stepped up to the desk to register, a beautiful woman in her 30s stepped up next to me and said, looked at me and said, why are you here? Why are you here? I've never seen the woman in my life. Why didn't you tell me you were coming? My Hispanic wife is to the left, ripping off my shirt. She says, who is that woman? In an accusing way, of course. I said, Dana, she has a demon. The demon in her knows who I am. I'm gonna cast the demon out of her while you enroll, while you get us checked in the hotel. I turned and lifted my hands to touch that woman. She screamed blood curdling and she ran out of that hotel screaming every step of the way until she was outside on the street. The security came running from all four directions. The first one who got to me said, who are you? I said, I'm the pastor of a church. I said, that woman has a demon spirit and I was trying to kick it out of its residence. He said, that's interesting because that woman is a witch. She's a celebrated witch in this town. She leads people through the cemeteries of New Orleans at midnight and they pray to the dead. What's the point? The point is the devil is afraid of spirit-filled people. But too many spirit-filled people are afraid of the devil. Dare Take him on. Fight the good fight of faith. Quit bowing to evil. Drag it out. Power over principalities and powers. For as many of them that believe, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. We have the power of his name. We have the power of the blood. We have the power of the gospel. We have the power of the church. I was raised in a generation where we sang out of a song book. And we had songs in there were actually about going to heaven. Songs that had about power, the power of Christianity. All hail the power of Jesus' name, let angels prostrate fall. Bring forth a royal diadem and crown him Lord of all. There is power, wonder-working power in the blood. Would you be free from your burdens of sin? There's power in the blood. Would you war evil of victory win? There's power in the blood. Where is Jesus Christ right now? In this book, he's sitting at the right hand of God in the position of power. The Father has power and great glory. The blood will never lose its power. How is he coming back to earth? The Bible says he's coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. The dead in Christ are going to rise and that's going to happen soon. We which are alive and remain shall be caught up in the twinkling of an eye. We're going to a city that we will never die. We're going to get crowns of righteousness and robes of righteousness. We'll be escorted through the streets of heaven by the angels where God has prepared a mansion just for you. Church of the living God, wake up, shake up, and get this thing going. God 